Silvia Bartoloni and I am the Community Coordinator of Academia del Café Espresso. I'm really, really proud to be here today for this new chapter of Coffee Encounters to tell you the story of one of the most iconic technology that we have on our espresso machine, the GS system. This technology is a milestone that changed forever the standard of our business. We came out with the first GS machine in 1927, but maybe not everybody knows how this technology came out, how we arrive, how we get to this idea of innovation. Actually, we have this idea of a dual GS boiling system thanks to a failure, a machine called Poker. In 1963, La Marzocco was trying to create an hydraulic pressure system to replace the lever system that was a standard in the business in that period. The first idea was to start with the pressure made by steam. So Piero Bambi decided to add an extra boiler. The machine was too complicated, too many components, and every single component potentially could break or suffer for higher volume of espressos. So the machine was not exactly the best product of La Marzocco. But thanks to the analysis of that machine and that failure, Giuseppe and Piero Bambi arrived to understand that maybe that system was not the best, but having an extra boiler was giving them the freedom to handle the temperature in a different way. We have two boilers. A bigger boiler dedicated for steam, for the production of the steam. And then we have another boiler dedicated to the hot water for brewing coffee. In the steam boiler, we are free to add a temperature that is over 100 Celsius degrees. In the hot water boiler, we can handle the temperature in a range of 83, 93 Celsius degrees. So as you see, there are different temperatures that are not matching. There is not a compromise in temperature that we have to, to reach in this way. GS stands for Gruppo Saturo, that is saturated group. Why? Because it was not just important to have two different temperatures, it was really important to be sure that the temperature that was inside the boiler was the same temperature that was touching coffee in the porta filter. So Giuseppe and Piero, they created this system. Basically, you have three components, a boiler, a group neck, and a group head. These three components are connected and fill it up with water until saturation. What does it mean saturation? It means that you don't have air in the system, you have just water, because air can be the only thing that affects temperature. Let's do an example. It's like having three rooms connecting by doors and no windows. Once you open the doors, the three rooms will reach the same temperature at the certain point. And it works the same with water. It's really easy, it's physics, it always works. So it's a perfect example of innovation and technology that is reliable. Obviously, the system we're using today is not the same system we used in 1970. We worked a lot to improve this system, but we wanted not to get it too complicated or to make it less reliable. So, uh, for just one example, now this system is all welded and is made in uh, stainless steel. That is the best material that you can find for a boiler. The most important thing for us is the reliability of the machine. The fact that every single barista can watch the machine knowing that the machine is the best answer to his knowledge and to his professional skills. So even if it's something so technical, to us, it's amazing to know that every single professional and La Marzocco baristas love this system and know even really technical aspect of it. It's a milestone that we try to improve every single day with our work and with every single effort of our R&D um, technical department. If you want to come to La Marzocco or Academia del Café Espresso, you can see how it the system works because we have a special department in our museum dedicated to it. I hope you enjoy this chapter of Coffee Encounter. Till the next time, goodbye. Please, please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh, honey.